Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marcy. Thank you for clicking on that thumbnail. Always showing up, showing your girl some love. We have something very exciting, a long awaited haul because I've had most of these fragrances for over a couple months and I've just been so busy with work. I haven't had time to do a video or I'm trying to give you all the specific, the uh, single review videos that you're always asking me for on Instagram first. So some of these fragrances are included in this haul. So if you you want to continue to hear about those fragrances if you didn't watch those singles single reviews then um go back and check out those single reviews so i can give you a more in-depth review of some of the fragrances that i'm going to be talking about today which will only be about i think i did four single reviews on some of these fragrances and i'll let you all know which one uh, well, I'm excited to be here with you all today because like I said, work has been hectic. You know, it's been super, super stressful and um, I'm ready to give y'all this haul, this long awaited haul, y'all. So that rhyme, this long awaited haul, y'all. So anyway, let's get into these fragrances. I appreciate every single one of you. Y'all show love to your loved ones. Tell them that you love them. You never know. You know, we all want to live life, learn from life, and move forward, but definitely show them love, you know, for the here, the now, today, you know, forgive, you know, all that. So anyway, just had to get that off my chest. So the very first fragrance that we're going to talk about, but for those new people first, on this channel, we talk about fragrances, lifestyle, travel, and some nursing. And if you are interested in any of those things, or even just one, please continue to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notification bells so that every time I do upload a video, you can be the very first one to give me your feedback, comment, recommendation, all that. You know, I do appreciate the engagement. I try to answer all questions. I know I went back and answered a couple questions and it was like three months later and whatever, but you know, hey, I'm trying to answer them all, even if they are months later, hopefully not a year later, right? So the very first one we're gonna get into um, is one that was very exciting. Um, and this is one by our lovely Fumi Monet over on Instagram. So go follow her on Instagram. I did a single review on this house. This is a beautiful fragrance. You know, I'm not gonna talk about it too much. Go check out my single review. And this is Exalté. I gave you some examples of what it may smell like. You know, um, definitely a stunning upscale, amazing fragrance. It has a notes of osmanthus. There's rose, there's musk in here, there's vanilla, there's some lemon in here. Um, it's just really beautiful fragrance. The box is stunning, y'all. Okay, but let me show you the bottle. I absolutely love the box, you know, stunning. I'm keeping this box. So this is the bottle. Um, let me shine it up. My fingerprints are all over it. So this is Exalte. You have your pink pepper, sandalwood, musk. Um, I did tell you all that this smelled like uh, roses, vanille, sort of. It smelled like uh, ajwad, um, the fragrance. And it also smelled like roses. Similar to roses, musk, roses, vanille. Like all of those and ajwad. Um, they all smell similar to me, but it's that muskiness and the sweet vanilla scent and the rosiness. Um, there's some brightness to this fragrance. Like I said, osmanthus, you do get, you know, after smelling it, yeah, definitely smells like um, ajwad. Um, you do get that muskiness. Go watch my review, okay? Um, up top. Uh, this is a very musky fragrance. Like I said, if you don't like musk, then you need to stay away from this. But it, this is a really pretty sophisticated fragrance with amazing performance, y'all. So this is called Exalté by Fumi Monet. Check her out. The bottle's $2.50. Um, it's definitely worth it because you don't need a lot to get a good performance. And it's going to last you a long time, y'all. This is some good stuff. Bottle stunning as well. So the next one we're going to talk about, and I was very, very surprised because um, I'm friends with the Perfume Diary over on Instagram, and she's always um, showing this fragrance by Cartier, and um, she, I think, talked about it a little bit more as of recent. And this is called, I'll show you the box first, this is called Cartier, I think it's pronounced La Panthera or La Panthera. But yeah, this fragrance was only $70. You could probably find it a little bit cheaper. This is the EDP. I know they have an EDT. They have a intense version. But this is the La Panthera Cartier's La Panthera 
La Panthera or La Panthera EDP, okay? Um, yeah, the bottle is gorgeous. The fragrance is affordable. This is the bottle. The bottle's stunning. Sorry, fingerprints. The bottle is stunning. The fragrance is gorgeous. Y'all check out my ring. Gorgeous. Got that from Asa Caftans. But y'all, let's get back to the fragrance. So this is beautiful. This is so regal and timeless. So elegant and classic. Like when I sprayed this fragrance for like $70, you know, I purchased this on Fragrance Spot. I wasn't expecting much. I was expecting it to smell like... I'm not going to say designer, but I was expecting it to not smell as elegant as it did. Um, what's his name? Equality Fragrance is always talking about um, there's, no, there's no such thing as smelling niche. There's no such thing as smelling designer. Well, you know, there is a standard when it comes to notes and fragrances, but... I truly believe that is true. Um, it all depends on the quality of uh, scents or notes that the perfumer decides to use or put in the fragrance. So y'all, this fragrance is amazing, okay? Get your nose on it. This is La Panthera. In here, you have your big strawberry. You have some fruity notes. You have a beautiful jasmine. Uh, what else? What else? You have your dried. You have some rhubarb in here that you really smell. You have your anise, which I only get a little bit of. A lot of people don't like that scent, but I actually think it adds to um, just the to the sophistication of a fragrance. Um, you have your big strawberry, leather, ylang ylang, and rose, rose and pear. But I really get a lot of the orange blossom, rhubarb, big strawberry. You get a, definitely a beautiful rhubarb and the rose. This fragrance is stunning. And for, I think this is a 50 ml bottle. Um, it looks a little big, but I think this is 50 ml. I kind of wish I would have gotten the bigger bottle, but I got enough fragrances as it is. But y'all, this is beautiful. I, when I smelled this, I fell in love upon first sniff. I wanted to immediately go buy a backup bottle, but I was like, you know what, girl? Don't be obsessive. You know, wear this one. And once you wear this one, I hope they never discontinue it. Because like I said, it's timeless. This smells rich. This smells like good old money, like classic like this fragrance will never ever like you can wear this at all times at any moment this fragrance will never lose its what sophistication when it comes to you know maybe a uh, year three year 3000 you know this will always be a timeless fragrance the smell is so it's like a classic upscale um, timeless vintage scent with the fruity notes in here that adds to the, um, I don't know y'all, but it's good, good. Okay. So get your nose on it. It's, it's just so, like I said, one word that I thought of when I smelled this fragrance, timeless, you know, very fruity, timeless, uh, it's sweet, it's very feminine, and it lasts at least eight hours on your skin, y'all. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking about this. And this is Cartier uh, La Panthera. So the next one we're going to talk about is a new one. And uh, everybody's already spoken about this, but I was on the fence about getting it at first because I initially smelled it at Sephora. And I was like, uh, I didn't really get too much when I smelled it at Sephora. Then I was like, uh, I love, love, love Flower Bomb. You know, I would make Flower Bomb my signature scent. Flower Bomb is the most amazing, aside from Gris Charnel, because y'all know I love Gris Charnel. Flower Bomb is the most amazing tea scent. The Gris Charnel has the cardamom and the tea and the vanilla and the richness and the sophistication. Flower Bomb is very playful, very fresh, airy. It has tea in it as well. African orange flower. There's some rose. Um, there's some citrusy uh, notes in that fragrance. It's a stunning fragrance. And I think I purchased the 150 ml bottle. So that should last me for the next 10 years. So anyway, I decided to get Flower Bomb Ruby Orchid. When I wore this fragrance, I got immediate compliments on this fragrance. Um, I walked in, I wore it to work, and people were like, oh, that smells good, that smells good. Um, so, and when I initially smelled it, I was nose blind to it. But when I purchased it for myself, and I did purchase it from um, Victor and Roth, they never go on sale. So they did have a promo 
Um, you get some free engraving. Um, I have a little crown there. It's a little difficult to see, like Queen Marcy. So a little crown, this was free. Then it came with a travel size of the original flower bomb. It came with a book. And you know what's missing? They did not put, I don't know if it was out of stock, but they owe me a 10 ml travel um, size of nectar. That did not come with the fragrance, which is stated that it did. So I'm emailing and um, I want my travel size of nectar. Okay, Victor and Ralph. All right, anyway. Um, in here, in Flower Bomb, you have your peach. I know there's some vanilla or ruby orchid, sorry. You have your peach, vanilla, you have some um, vanilla bean, sorry. Peach, vine, orchid, and vanilla bean. Now, when I sprayed this, I got like some, some sandalwood or, you know, I do get the orchid vanilla. It smells more like orchid vanilla. You do get some vanilla bean. It's a richer vanilla than, and you know, just actually the vanilla fragrance. It does smell like vanilla bean. You get a really peach, a really um, nice peachy scent, but I smell tonka bean or sandalwood or something that's adding to this fragrance that is not listed. But you know, um, they I'm sure they put something else in here, but this is really pretty. You get a really pretty vanilla peach. Um, smells like sandalwood, like an amber as well in here, um, and some orchid. Um, I absolutely love it. This is a 100 ml bottle, and I think it retails for about 170. Uh, but it did. I was happy that it did come with the perks, you know, that it did come with, um, because that made it a little more, you know, it made it made sense. So that's it. And that's a flower bomb ruby orchid. Absolutely love this stuff, y'all. So the next one we have is one that I have been dying to purchase, but I was waiting to see if it would go on sale. I could never catch it on Fragrance Buy, so I ended up ordering it from Fragrance X, and I think it was about um, 180 or 190 USD. And I wanted it to go with my two other eggs. You guys know that I'm such a gourmand lover. Um, absolutely love Dates, Dates Delight. I love um, the House of Ooze. What about Pop? You know, that caramel, that salty caramel, buttery. Um, they said popcorn, but when I smell it, I got the popcorn, but I'm getting more of a salted, buttery caramel scent. Um, that's really amazing. Uh, but this one right here is Keep Glaze and absolutely love this fragrance. There's strawberry in here. There's mango. There's iced lemon in here. Um, there's some vanilla in here as well. Um, there's what else? There's coconut, there's ginger, there's whipped cream. You definitely get all of those notes in the fragrance. I don't know if I'm gonna spray this, but when I, they said there's a pastry note in the fragrance. Now I don't get any, let's go ahead and spray this. I'm gonna spray it on me. But what I find it's a little odd is that the, you know, you see that? It's more of like a, a shooting, like it's not a, a mister in the automizer. This one's a little weird. I'm gonna have to figure this out. But anyway, um, they said it's more pastry-like. Now, it's not bready. It's not cakey. What I do get, I do get sort of like a Danish smell. But you know the Danish um, that has the dried fruit or the glaze inside, kind of like a mango um, glaze or a strawberry glaze with the Danish and the icing on top. That is what this fragrance is giving me. I'm not getting too much of lemon, you know. Um, actually, I am getting some lemon. I'm, I'm definitely getting the iced lemon, like it says, you know. You get that mango, strawberry. It definitely smells like a, a mango or a strawberry lemon, like a combination um, of a uh, pastry or Danish. Um, it's really good. Absolutely love it because I'm such a gourmand head. So I um, love the bottle. The bottle's stunning, you know. Uh, but I'm so happy that I have this in my collection. And this is Keep Glaze by the House of Oud. Y'all, good stuff. But I don't like that um, automizer. That was weird. So um, anyway, the next one we're going to discuss is 
everybody's talking about Teo Cabanel's Cafe Cabanel. Well, you know, Cafe Cabanel, I'm thinking about it. So you may see it in the future. You may or may not. Uh, when I initially sprayed Cafe Cabanel, it was a little too spicy for me. But I've been working on a sample, um, and I've worn the sample about three times. And now I'm getting more of the caramelized spiciness. I'm getting more of the milky, like a, you know those little square candy caramels that are kind of like milky with some cinnamon and spiciness. So that spiciness kind of died down for me a little bit um, in the dry down and it's, it's um, yeah, it's like, it's succulent and delicious. Um, so you may see Tail Cabanel and that stunning bottle that they have. But in the meantime, while y'all talking about Cafe Cabanel, I'm gonna talk about Barcane, and I think that's what the name is. And uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This fragrance reminds me of another fragrance, and I posted it on Instagram probably about a month ago. This reminds me of Sultan. Uh, by the House of Royal Crown. When I initially sprayed it, of course, you do get the curry. I think it's like curry tree. You get the cumin. You get some sandalwood. You get the oud. You get the myrrh. You get the vanilla. But then you also get um, sultan minus the vanilla. If you threw some extra vanilla in here, this would definitely be sultan. This in the opening is a nice fragrance, but in the dry down, it's really, really good. It's almost leaning gourmandish. It's definitely unisex, uh, but I'm kind of getting like sweet, um, you get the curry, that's for sure, and the cumin, uh, but it's in small doses, uh, which is very good. I'm kind of getting like sweet spices and myrrh and sandalwood and tonka bean, like from India. Um, it does, I think there's some bergamot in here as well. Um, but I don't, of course you get the patchouli, you know, um, you get some geranium. I don't really get any other geranium, but you get the bergamot geranium, but maybe that's just adding, there's a slight green touch in the opening, but this fragrance is really warm, spicy. Like I said, it smells like sultan minus some of the vanilla with a little bit of cumin inside, but I absolutely love it. This is definitely a winter fragrance, a nighttime fragrance. Um, definitely will shine in the cooler weathers. And uh, I love it, y'all. So this is a uh, Barcane. Like I said, if you want feminine, this is not for you. This is definitely unisex. It lasts me about six hours on my skin, on my clothes, about eight hours that I could smell. I've worn it twice already. But yeah, love this fragrance by the house of, um, and my shoulders hurting. Um, <laughs> holding up these fragrances. Um, I love this by the House of Teo Cabanel, and this is Barcane. All right, let's get on. Let's get it on. So the next one we have is, um, go watch my single review on this one as well. And this is by the House of Bodicea the Victorious, and this is Bodacious. I put a little bit of a dent in this fragrance already. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this fragrance. I was so on the fence about buying the Tom Ford's fragrance. Uh, what is it? Lost Cherry. But the performance is not that great. And it didn't give me very much, you know. Uh, this gave me Lost Cherry with a little bit more almondy, seedy scent on top of the booziness as well. It's so much more character to this. But go watch my single review. This is Bodicea, Bodacious Bodicea. Watch my review, y'all. Stunning fragrance. I blind bought this from Selfridges and I'm absolutely in love with it. If I ran out of this, I would definitely buy it again. Am I looking forward to buying Lost Cherry anymore? Absolutely not, because I have this, and I also have the new Aaron Terrence Hughes fragrance, uh, Cherry, which is amazing as well. Love those two with the tobacco note. This has tobacco in here too, but it's not tobacco heavy like the Aaron Terrence Hughes. You get more of the cherry and tobacco and booziness there. This is more of the almond, booziness, cherry, nuttiness. Um, it's, it's just absolutely delicious, y'all. Um, get your nose on it, bodacious. So the next one I have um, is I'm going to do a review on my Bond Number no. 9 collection as well, my updated one. I've gotten rid of some. I've added a couple to it. Um, and this is Tribeca. 
Okay, finally got Tribeca. I did want the one with the Swarovski crystals on it, but I didn't want to spend the coins. Uh, also, I didn't even want to spend the coins on the regular bottle. Finally found it on sale at Max Aroma. I think I paid $3.30 for this, an amazing deal because um, it originally runs for about $4.40. I think I got like 25 or 30% off, but love this. I love Greenwich Village. All of these, these three fragrances, I'm going to do a comparison. Baccarat Rouge 540, Greenwich Village, and Tribeca. To me, they all smell alike. Of course, Greenwich Village is a little more fruity. It's a little more, it has lychee in there, but it still smells like B540. This one, it has hazelnut, some caramel, some cacao, but it still smells like B540 on top of the B540. All right, so anyway, love, love, love this bottle. Stunning. You know, I'm gonna add my own little crystals to it. You know, I'll bling my own bottle up uh, probably for $20 in Michaels, okay? Anyway, love this Tribeca. Uh, check it out at Max Aroma, okay? Don't buy it for regular price. If you have um, Greenwich Village or B540, unless you absolutely love gourmands and you're such a gourmand lover, um, I don't know. I, I needed it, okay? Because I wanted it and I absolutely love it. But they're all so much alike, y'all. All right. So the next one we have, you guys have all been waiting for. Um, and I'm going to do a separate review on this and talk about um, an updated review on all of my Narciso Rodrigo's fragrances. You all know, if you know who I am, you know that he is one of my favorite designer fragrance houses. He is my favorite designer fragrance house. I love the note of musk. Okay. So I was super excited when I heard that this was coming out, came out. I do not own the original musk noir. It's nice, but it wasn't groundbreaking for me. So I did not get it, but I wanted to get my nose on this plum fragrance musk noir rose. Now I thought this was going to be muskier. I thought this was going to be sweeter. Um, it is nice, but it is not groundbreaking. Am I going to keep this in my collection? I don't know. I do love the stunning bottle. I do love the plum note, but this smells a little vintage, old to me, sort of. And I don't know what it is, but there's plum, bergamot, pink pepper. There's musk, rose, tuberose, and vanilla. So I'm going to go ahead. The box is, looks like this, basic. But you definitely get that plum. You get the powderiness, you get the plum, tuberose, you get the vanilla, you know, but because the plum and the floral notes, it's a little darker, it's a little sexier, sultry, you know, but the plum, there's no brightness to this fragrance. Like I said, it's a little dark. You know, but it doesn't last very long. It only lasts about maybe four hours. Um, but I was really getting the plum. I thought it was going to be sweeter, y'all. I thought the plum was going to give me more stewed plum, more sweetness, more richness. It's more of just like a dark, watery, um, airy type plum scent with the rose. It's nice. But it's not amazing, you know. I all I my other ones that I have, like I absolutely love those, and I wouldn't think about getting rid of those. Like I wouldn't give it a second thought. This one I'm giving second thoughts about. It's nice. It could be a signature fragrance if you love the note of plum, but you know, it's nice. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. But I'm gonna do a review on it. I'm gonna wear it a little bit longer and do a review. So the next one um, is by the house of. Boom, <laughs> Royal Crown, and I finally got Isabella. You know, initially I was not going to get Isabella uh, because I have enough tuberose fragrances, but I could not pass this bottle up. I bought it from Fragrance Buy and I could not pass the deal up, y'all. So anyway, this is such a stunning bottle and I have a, a thing for pink bottles, y'all. I love pink. I have a bottle of, um, I have a collection of pink bottles, pink and white bottles sitting in one area. Y'all, I absolutely love this. Look at that, gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So I wore this when I was over in Ghana. I ordered a sample from Max Aroma. Max Aroma does have samples. I think I paid like $35 for the 10 ml sample, which was ridiculous, you know? 
But yeah, so this to me is more of a, it's very feminine. It's more of like a powdery tuberose. They say that there's rose in here, uh, but in Isabella, you have your tuberose, vanilla, rum, rose. You have some sandalwood, tonka, and ambergris. What I get from this fragrance is tuberose, rum. I get the sandalwood. Um, I don't get any rose per se, but I definitely get the tuberose and the vanilla. It's a very powdery tuberose, not bubblegummy, but it's like a boozy powdery tuberose with some vanilla. It's a really pretty fragrance, but um, I don't think it's a safe blind buy because, you know, you gotta love, you know, to me also in this fragrance, I think the rum scent, it's almost giving me a smokiness in this fragrance. You know, I really don't get any of the ambergris, you know, but yeah, it's giving me boozy woodiness. That's what it is. Not smokiness. It's woodiness. It's like a dry woodiness, like birch or something. Yeah, it's giving me powdery, sweet tuberose with a dry woodiness, some vanilla, and some booziness. Um, I love it. I really do. It's a very upscale fragrance. It's very feminine. It lasts a long time. The bottle stunning, all of that. Love the matte finish on the bottles. Y'all, it's a gorgeous fragrance. Um, you know, wear this like on a day, uh, girls' day out, you know, um, date-wise. You know, I'm not too sure because everybody might not take to a powdery sweet tuberose. But, y'all, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite tuberose fragrances. I do love love tuberose more than this one, though, uh, because I love the marshmallow note and love tuberose. This is more of a powdery scent, um, y'all. But anyway, it's good. Love it. Isabella. The next one I thought I would never purchase. It's also from the House of Royal Crown, y'all. Don't laugh, okay? Um, I did end up purchasing <sighs> Sultan. <laughs> One where I could really, really smell the oud in this fragrance, y'all. I still smell it, okay? So don't get me wrong. I still smell the oud, but I'm, I waited to the dry down to judge the fragrance, and I wore this full body on two separate occasions, and I really get got that rich scent of vanilla. Is this the best gourmand ever? No, it is not, but it is definitely a lovely one. So, y'all, the bottle's stunning, you know, uh, gorgeous. Uh, the, the vanilla in here is one of my better vanillas. I will definitely put this in my top 10 vanilla fragrances. But as far as overall gourmand, it's nice. Okay, it's, it's beautiful. I'm not going to say it's nice. It's beautiful. You know, absolutely love it. Let me go ahead and spray this here. Check out the atomizer. You know. Yeah. Love it. Love the oud in here. And my sample, my sample smelled a little more oudier than the actual fragrance here. Actually, no, it's still there. <laughs> Upon initial spread, and get it. But as it dries down, and then the oud after about an hour, like 30 minutes to an hour, it kind of disappears a little bit. It's still there, hiding in the background, but... For the first 30 minutes, I still I get the oud in here. I don't know which one of y'all or all of you guys say you don't get the oud. I get my nose. I already told you my nose is super sensitive. Totally get the oud in this fragrance. Oops. Definitely get the oud in this fragrance. But I do love the dry down more. Um, yeah. So anyway, I got Sultan. And in Sultan Royal Crown, uh, you have your saffron, Madagascar vanilla. Um, you have the dates. I really don't get a rich date scent, but it, I get some like dried fruits. Um, yeah, you have your myrrh, sandalwood, labdanum, cedar, saffron, and Moroccan rose. All in all, I get some oud. I get some vanilla. I said sandalwood, right? Yeah, I get sandalwood, cedar. Definitely get a lot of beautiful myrrh um, and vanilla, y'all. That's what it all boils down to. I don't get any Moroccan rose, that's for sure. Um, anyway, it's a beautiful fragrance. Love every single one of these. Almost, yeah, actually, all of these were successful blind buys. Um, yeah, I think I blind bought 
I smelled Tribeca like two years ago when I was in London and that's when it first came out but I ended up getting um, My New York and I ended up getting Ruby Dubai and like two other ones. Uh, but anyway, um, but pretty much everything else, yeah, they're all blind buys, basically. Um, not Isabella, because I got a sample. So, uh, of the two royal crowns, I got a sample. So anyway, this was a very successful haul. Love you all. Go out to the world. Spread amazing siage. Do good. Be good. There's a second haul coming. Um, I'm doing too much. Okay. So anyway, I'm slowing down though, y'all. There's a second haul coming. So watch out for that. And also watch out for my spring fragrances. And uh, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to mix up um, designer and niche. Or maybe I'll just do one designer and niche and call it a day. I'll just pick my favorites, y'all. So anyway, love you all. Go on to the world. Spread amazing. See Ash. Do good. Be good. All of that. And, you know, hug a stranger, y'all. Well, not a stranger on the street. Well, maybe that stranger may uh, need a hug that's on the street. But you got to be careful today. So anyway, love you guys. Bye-bye.